Really hard to pee. Amazing series. Game one has already delivered. We had the Baron fight back and forth for two and a half minutes, which is telling me that these teams are not gating themselves through pressure situations. They're ready to go in, and they're not being risk averse here. And CLG really crushed it in game one. We were wondering if they were going to be able to transition. Trying to kill time right now because he doesn't necessarily have his own farm. Exhaust burn, though. Nice oh, stuns. Wow. He's gonna use, oh my god, he used Zion Spartan to dash too, but they had the peace of mind to throw a few autos out. Take down Bjergsen in the mid lane. Pole Belter has been playing so clean already early to get his health to that point. Against him, we're seeing the 2v2, however, now in the top with Santorin going hard on Echo. Double lift just to take a bit of lane damage. That was a flash pulverize, meaning they have more time with double lift. Just outside turret range. Choppers on the Santorin. He's down to 220 HP. It's going to be the teleports in. Zion Spartan absolutely scrapes the floor with Santorin, throwing him against the wall. Lost Boy has to exit with the rest of the team. Stage left. Got to get going last time on the Yasuo. 2 0 oh, no already. Dragon's going to go down sub 10 minutes over the side of CLG. They don't want to go for a dive this time. Teleport about to come off of cooldown here for Zion. That and rope. CLG look like they're looking to make a play. Yeah. Pole going to beat Bjergsen in the roam up the river unless they match up 1v1. He's going to be mega. Howling Gale comes through. Sam, oh my gosh, Zion's fine. you? A beautiful hop over the team, throwing Lustboy back. The focus now on the Pole Belter. Monsoon coming in from Afro, who may save Belter. Flashes out of that one alive. Can still laser from the outside. And it looks like Team Solomid dropping like flies here. Back on the Pole Belter. He may live, but Bjergsen. no. He goes down to the riptide of Dyrus. Everybody is giving their last ounce in this fight. And Team Solomid actually comes out on top, dipping, dodging, and diving around the auto attacks. The skill shots. Bjergsen may have to give up the final fight, but four are down to the two of TSM. He's got the knockup. If he misses, Oh, that could be the pressure that he wants. Gets it's the wind on the boomerang. Oh, the boomerang is not caught from the wind wall. Bjergsen does not have a dash, though. And as they go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, they must tiptoe back out of the oh, fight. Oh, here we go. Super mega death the rocket. Recall timer. In three, two, nope. one. Misses oh, it just oh, underneath. Man. He's no turtle. <laughs> Doesn't even cancel his recall. Who cares? <laughs> What's he going to hit him anyway? <laughs> the rest of the team only led to his own yeah. death. Gank on turtle. They Got want corner. a little something back here. Chopper's down. Oh, my word. He may be able to take a double lift. Oh! You have to be absolutely kidding me. <laughs> Didn't even need the passive for it until yeah. he got experience. Hashtag things that should not happen. Speaking of Kogma, he gets a little stronger once he has Trinity Force. You could say that. Oh, again. a little bit. Should be able to stop pressure on the top side. Rip tied that minion out. And oh, they're just... trying to have their cake and eat it too. TSM wants to stop the turret while taking Dragon. Here comes Yasuo. And that teleport can follow after as well if there is a resulting fight. That's going to be the ulti. There's the last breath. Oh, no! Stun! Absolutely incredible from Zion Spartan. Beautiful plays across the board. His turret may go down. He actually may be able to get a nice wall up here right inside the turret range. He is just playing with fire Here comes right the Jinx, Jinx Rocket, Rocket and the rest of CLG oh! are coming in. Just misses the Chaos Storm. Is going to finish him off, though. Bjergsen being held now by Aframu. The turret's low enough to take it down after a fight. Do they have what it takes? Bjergsen diving back and forth with the dashes, but he Zion cannot get the right target. Spartan with the ridiculous two versus one outplay, channeling the wall up right as he gets knocked up so that Bjergsen can't ult during the knockup. Down looks like that pressure is going to happen. I don't think TSM kill. No, they will Big actually combo. push back on this. Pobelter gets a laser through the entire team. The Chaos Storm is also doing a ton of damage. That's going to be Santorin going down. He flashes out just at the right time. Oh, it takes down Bjergsen. Just misses. To Santorum, but he still goes down. CLG has fights on either side of them. Turtles here They're now. just trying to choose which one. They may have gotten themselves in a real bad spot. Turtle with double boss able to come up huge in the end. The beginning to uh, their road to come back, and it wasn't. Yeah. A, it wasn't. It a wasn't a Zion cancel. Nice job by it was Dyrus. a Dyrus complete Dyrus outplay to get DS TSM back into this. And a five versus four by starting this Baron. Yeah, well, they have it. Yeah, we had 10 minutes before this happened last time. Now it's 21 They're minutes into the, the game. They're staying on the Baron instead of fighting. Lost Boy getting hit up. That's Unbreakable Will off onto him. It does not look like he'll be able to take too much more. Santorin on the way. Deep into the fight. Lost Boy goes down, and they have 
whatever target they want. It's going to be Bjergsen trying to put that last breath in. Cannot trigger the ultimate, however. Santorin definitely going down. CLG trying to assess if they can still take this fight, but it's not looking good anymore. Wild Turtle getting shots off, but he's out of mana. It's all up to the auto attacks, and Pole Belter is running headlong into both Dyrus and Wild Turtle right now, but nobody can follow up in the Void Ooze. Nice stretch line coming in from Dyrus to start the fight once again. TSM was waiting to reposition, waiting to counter-engage, and another double kill for Wild Turtle. Pole Belter too far forward, and they turn it around. Dyrus with a key hook there, and they got the blue buff onto Wild Turtle. And has the outplay, and they pull themselves back in this game. TSM making that choice for them. <laughs> you, got boy. you got it, Lust Boy. The Baron, and as soon as that runs out, he actually gets hit. But no time for replays in this game. Caught on to Dyrus. Batting orders back around. We're back to the Baron and back to fighting. Dyrus looks like he could go down here without any assistance. Feels scary, but this is, again, a dangerous ploy. They have the vision coverage. Here we go. They know it's happening already. Baron down to, to 14, it. 1,300, 900 HP. It's only Smithy. He grabs it. Dyrus very deep into the fight, but Pobelter's by himself on the back line and is forced to flash out. Oh. That's going to be a reason. Set. Here comes double lift. Will they be able to get in? Zanya's down. Bjergsen, Pole Belter, 1v1. Chaos Storm reigns on that parade. It was a tough fight to win for Bjergsen. And Pole Belter comes out on top. Now for Turtle. He dashes the zap. And it looks like it's going to be a follow up from McSmithy. They're going for the oh, kill. Oh, what a bold they call got by it. CLG. They got Turtle. There it is. Do they take Zion? No, they don't. That's the ace for Counter Logic Gaming. Mixers into his inventory. TSM would have to go all in to stop this it one. Looks like it, it would have to be a flash initiation from either Alistair or just a nice click by Nautilus. They get Xmithy in the turret. Let's see if they go for broke. Xmithy takes a lot of damage. That could be the That's Yasuo Nautilus last all. breath. They're going to wait on it. Lust Boy hits up Zion Spartan, and they're also waiting for Mininar now. He gets an ultimate, not against the wall. TSM actually blows a few summoners to get into the right position to be in the right spot. That kill going to them, but Dyrus has also fallen. That's going to be Pobelter going down. Oh, yeah, be way too close now. For CLG, triple kill for Turtle, looking for the Quadra, not going to get it that time. It's a triple for Double Lift. He's looking for Bjergsen. That petty kill came out of nowhere. That looked like the fight was going to turn in TSM side, but Double Lift the whole time was free hitting. That might be the game. It came off of X Smithy's explosive cast. And, and that is oh the game. Oh, my God. It Ten seconds to burn these down. They're running out of minutes. They're probably going to have to back away. Absolutely amazing play so far. Baron, they're going to try their best to get some damage on here. Rather dangerous to push this without a Baron buff. But remember, with Yasuo mid lane, mid. basically the only way TSM gets them off this turret is if they engage. Wild Turtle just about to hit 16. It would really help with the long-range living artilleries, but they may not have time. Victor Lust damage. Boy, Santorin just get hit up. He's forced to use the Echo Ultimate and break time just to save his life. Santorin, Bjergsen, and Turtle running for solace on the base now as they watch Bjergsen get hit up. This is not going to be a good fight for them. TSM used all of their knockups on the Grogus, on Smithy, and CLG punished them for it. That's going to be the game. That Double is disengage. absolutely going to be the game. Such a good game for CLG here. 27 to 15, Counter Logic Gaming go two in a row versus Team Solo Mid in the NALCS Summer Finals.